Welcome back to Ad Infinitum, everybody. I'm excited to jump back into this. Um, so we just got attacked by that creature. I think we fell down right there. Got to go this way. Oh, gosh. Okay. Yep. Nope. Nope. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Don't like being chased. Why is this game so loud? Still chasing me? I don't hear him. Oh gosh, yeah, he is. Okay. Jeez. How is it fair? No. I don't know where I need to go. I'm just... I mean, I assume I just follow this, but like... Oh gosh. But like, how did he catch me before? Oh, there we go. Okay. He's your son! Oh mon dieu, c'est un stupis! You know I won't tolerate that language under my roof! Your father's words again! You cannot even speak for yourself! Where has my husband gone? Nonsense! Father was right. You've already warped one of my sons with your hysteria. I won't allow you to ruin the other. Where has my husband gone? Where go? Once Paul leaves, I shall be all alone in this house. Just me. And me. Oh. We just go this way. I don't. I assume. Oh my gosh, run faster! I'm going so slow. He's gonna get me. We're going so slow. Come on. Nope. Oh no, oh okay, right here maybe. Get through here, get through here. Okay. Okay. All right. Um. Despair, a poem. Despair, like the night. You return again. You leave me with naught, neither hair nor flesh. Not even the courage to put an end to this pain. Despair. There we go. Let's get through here. Why am I slow all of a sudden? There we go. There we go. I can run. What does it say? Then, in Uneden, she created the dead garden Gehenna? Gehenna! I do not know. Can we get out of our, uh, whatever this is, purgatory, hallucinations, hell, whatever you want to call it? <laughs> Alright. There we go. Good do there. Is this within the dead garden she placed the people she had formed did she whoever she is make these creatures okay here's more she raised the tree of unlife from the wet mud at the center of the garden the tree of evil okay so we're gonna have to try to find this tree of evil So this is like a mix of obviously the battlefield plus some kind of hallucinations and demons maybe I don't really know for as long as it stands so too shall she stand birthing her pain into this world we have to chop down the tree can we chop down the tree get rid of her In this area your actions will have consequences great Okay. Child's drawing. It's pretty music makes mama happy. Your mama's ugly. Okay. In my darkest hours, it is only music that saves me. Is there a heart in the world that cannot be softened by it? Hmm. It's only music that saves me. 
Okay, so... What is that? There's a button here to press, but it said that our actions will have consequences in this area. Okay. I'm not sure how it works. That's good to know, though. So, can she see us? Oh! What am I supposed to do here? Do I need to get to another spot? I'll wait till she it, whatever that thing is. Oh my gosh. Dude, like you step into that little area and it just it's game on. Let's just go. We'll try it. See how it works. Come on, get out, 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 get out. Whew. 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 What is this? Okay. Oh, the music. Oh, okay. Now, will that calm her down? Or is there going to be more of those? Okay. That looks like it. Okay, I don't know if I'm supposed to... This whole actions has consequences thing has me worried. Like, I feel like I'm going to screw something up. Okay. So green. The green is good. So I feel like each of these is going to have its own... Uh... What do you eat? Thank you. Run, 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 run. As fast as you can. I'm dead. I'm dead. You're too close. Ooh, boy, boy, super tight butthole. So I think that there's going to be in each of these little inlets a specific one of these that we have to turn that obviously is not it I feel like it's the green one the one that's gonna this one here looks yeah and then once we've got all these we probably have to go over and push that button so it comes through the speakers Maybe. Okay. Now we gotta wait for her to get over there. Okay, let's go. Go, 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 go. I don't like it. Nope. Jeez. So close behind. So that doesn't look like it. It's this one here. There we go. Okay. Go, 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 go. Dude, she's... Yeah, so they're all green there. So that should calm her down, right? Yeah. Can I kill her?
Okay. Okay. Well, what just happened? So she's gone now. We got rid of her. But what were the consequences that I could suffer if I didn't do that right? Just die? Or did I just do a right? fragment of mirror? Just for a moment, you could see a reflection in the shard of glass. Okay, so we're waking up back in the same bed as we woke up in before. So, that was the end of chapter one. So, we're probably only a quarter of the way through the game, maybe? The dagger looks heavier than it... The dagger's heavier than it looks. This was mine. Now, it's yours. Oh. Crap. Stand straight, Paul. <coughs> your father is a cripple. He took your grandmother's life when he was born. And now he is a cripple still because he doesn't stand straight and tall. The boy can't even ride a horse. Your brother is not of sound mind. He has your wretched mother's blood. My legacy lies in your hands now. You hear me? The Cadet Academy will make an upright man of you. In spite of your parents, their never-ending suffering, their pain, their cowardice is in your blood. You must purge it. You are the only one worthy of the name von Schmidt and of my dagger. It's your duty. Do you hear? I... I... <laughs> So, were Paul? Is that what I'm gathering from that? Or Paul? And was it Johannes, our brother, isn't in the, our right mind like our mom? I hear you're now in the Cadet Academy around the corner. How is life there? Are they teaching you to stand proud and tall? Soon you'll be able to look down on everyone else, just like our dear father. But there are things he couldn't see from way up there. Words cannot describe the horrors we see here every day. Please write. Your brother. Okay. So I don't think we can take that. Um, we've looked at that. I think we've looked at this too, yeah. I think that might be it. Okay, let's get out of here. So what is our objective? Follow the sounds. That's exactly what I want to do. Oh, come on. Oh, whatever. I'll leave that door closed or open. Is that coming from upstairs? Oh, no. We're, we are upstairs. Okay. Maybe coming from downstairs. I think. Couldn't really tell. Where's the bathroom? Oh, we never went into... Oh, we can't go into there. Okay. We never got a chance to look around in here because last time we... The ball... A wedding ring. You wonder what it's doing here. Okay. I assume that's our mom's wedding ring? I don't like this hallway. It goes dark every time we're in here. Okay. I don't. Oh. <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> I'm going to get you! No, you're not! <laughs> no! No, please! No. What's what's ringing? Is that upstairs? Is there a phone over here? Yeah, I think so. Okay. So are those people that have died? Or what? That was a lot of people. Um, but obviously our name was, or Johannes's name was on there anyway. So was that the noise we were supposed to follow? No. Ooh, what is this area? Who is that? Um... Why the, why the music? Cavalry sword. A simple caval cavalry sword. The inscription reads, To my son, once he learns to ride. General Lothar von Schmidt. Is that the dad? You never did earn it, son. Wow. This was rude. Letter. Combat agents. September 18th, 1914. Dear Director General von Schmidt. As you know, we never succeeded in developing a methodology to treat your infantile paralysis. However, we are pleased to announce that this research has now led us to a breakthrough in another field. The infectious disease pol pol poliomyelitis acute anterior is now becoming increasingly common in all corners of the world. Thus prompting us to recommend this and similar pathogens as combat agents for use in the war effort. At your behest, I shall contact the War Department and ask for research funds. As you know, we are in urgent need of such assistance. E. Grubert, Deputy Director, Carl von Schmidt & Co., Paint Factories, Berlin. So our dad, it was mentioned earlier that our dad couldn't, like, stand up straight. Something with an issue. So he's got, he had infantile paralysis? Okay. Wondering if that. Why is he wearing a gas mask? Alpha. Okay, nothing there. Let's get through here. Okay, so we can go out, but I need to. I need to talk to Pop. He's just not here anymore. Wonder why. For too long I have allowed my cowardice to paralyze me. But I know now what I must do. I must keep a steady hand. Remain focused on my target. Just as I did when I killed the gazelle. What target? What target? General Lothar von Schmidt, 1840-1908. So that's our grandfather, Lothar. But the... The fire! The fire! Weltenbrand! The death! Of the gods, uh, our, 
our death. Hmm. Pipe, it's warm. The thick, tangy aroma of the smoke from Father's pipe still hangs in the air. So is he here? I mean, he it, it looked like he was just here. Somebody was sitting on the couch. July 15th, 1917. My son has been promoted, made an officer. My father would be proud of him, but am I? Since Magdalena begged me, I used my connections at Supreme Army Command to ensure that Johannes can look after him. <laughs> Such nonsense. The coward of the family of all people. Have I become infected by her female hysteria? <laughs> Regardless, we shall all be better off once victory is ours. And I shall do my part. Okay. So Johannes is the older brother, I think. And Paul joined the military later. Child's writing exercise. My grandpa is Lothar von Schmidt. He is a great general. <laughs> My father is Carl von Schmidt. He has a factory. <laughs> he, he writes a lot. When I grow up, I want to be like my grandpa. All age seven. Huh. Adorable. Sigma. So I have a feeling that these are going to have a role to play in what we're doing. Some of your father's. Some books of your father's not what you need. I don't know what I'm... I'm just kind of looking around right now. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Display case key. The little key to the display case was hidden in the diary. August 10th, 1917. I have it. The formula that will help us to victory. An acid that can dissolve the enemy's tank weapons. I call it... The tank eater. Iron and steel are no match for my acid. It is a weapon even more potent than our new mask breaker agent. The formula is locked in the safe, preserved from prying eyes by the memory of my father. So acid's locked in the safe. The formula for the acid's locked in the safe. We're going to have to find that. But for what? What would we need to find that for? Hmm. Okay. Yeah, there was nothing else in those, so we found the key for that. Let's get that lit up. We got a, what is it, a crocodile? Your grandfather killed this crocodile himself. Right Paul was badass. Where's this go? Onto the hallway. Oh, okay, I know where we're at now. Okay, take that, that, that. There you go. You should have seen us. We were one with our horses. A force to be reckoned with. We stood at the gates of Paris. <coughs> the gates of Paris. We could have had it all. Everything. Okay. I still have to get to Paris. When you were a child, your brother told you this was a, the Bear of Berlin, the city's mascot. You believed him. <laughs> okay, so... Or Paul. Johannes is our older brother. This, I'm, I'm, I think that's right. At one point, I thought we were Johannes. At one point, I thought we were the mom. But maybe we're just seeing things through everybody's eyes. I don't know. I don't know. We'll hopefully figure it out. The successful hunt. 300 hot tots captured and hanged. Okay. Article on the general. Peace in German Southwest Africa. General von Schmidt's second victory in the German colonies. Following the, his defeat of the Boxer Rebellion in China, General von Schmidt turned his attention to the Hottentots. As a result, peace and order has now been restored to Africa. 
Despite critics back home in Prussia labeling the initiative unnecessary, there is nevertheless a sense of relief. Rest missing. I, the great general of the German forces, hereby address this message to the Herero people. The Hereros are henceforth no longer German subjects. Any Herero found within the German border, armed or unarmed, with or without livestock, shall henceforth be shot. I shall no longer take in any women or children. Instead, they shall be driven back to their people, or likewise fired upon. These are my words to the Herero people. Lothar von Schmidt, great general of the mighty German Kaiser. Windhoek, October 1st, 1904. Okay, so we got this here. Figurine, a strange figurine. Was there more? This postcard. Trophies. Dear General von Schmidt, we have taken the liberty of sending you a few trophies to aid in your recovery from the tropical fever and your reacclimation to the Berlin winter. The elephant tusks speak for themselves. In addition to these, we have enclosed a fetish from West Africa. This was given to us by your personal porter with whom we know you have always enjoyed a good joke. His tribe believes the fetish will bring you strength and good health. A primitive superstition to be sure, but a sign nonetheless that the entire African continent is praying for your swift recovery and return. Yours respectfully, Lieutenant Von Grub... 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 Botch? Grub... Botch. Sure. Windhawk, February 3rd, 1908. Okay, so fetishes are good in Africa? Everybody in Africa's got a fetish? Okay. Let's uh, read this. 26th, 1916. I had a peculiar dream. It was my 32nd birthday again, and I was visiting father in Africa. Just as I did back then, I shot the gazelle. I remember the approval in father's gaze, the nod of recognition. It was my first and only journey of such distance. In my dream, however, I was suddenly a child again. My leg no longer stiff and sickly. In this vision, I was finally able to ride with father. We rode all over the world, from Africa to China and on to America. He was proud of me. Over and over he spoke to me of how man and horse must merge into one when they ride into battle. Yet in reality, I never rode with father. I was never able to learn. I know how much of a disappointment I was to him ever since the day I was born. If only I could have gone to the front myself. But this cursed leg won't allow it. It never would. Hmm. Okay. So yeah, our dad is a leg disabled. So horn a gazelle's horn. Take that. Okay. Let's take a look at our objectives real quick. Find a place for the horn. Okay. I assume that it's gonna be there. Oh gosh. <laughs> oh wait. Hold the safe dial in place for a short time to enter the number. Turn the dial again to enter the next number. Okay, I don't know the get the formula for the acid from the safe. Ashes to ashes, rest in peace, great general. Okay, we need to find the code. Did we see something about a code? So, I don't know what the code would be. I'm looking around. I reread all the stuff in here and I didn't see anything, but there's this right here that I haven't looked at yet. December so maybe. 28th, 1916. Magdalena and I hardly exchange a word. 
Is it the Quicksilver? No. The whole of Berlin has gone quiet. Everyone is suffering from the hunger. But at least it affords me the peace to continue my work on the test animals. I want to play my part in the victory. To devise an agent that can penetrate the filters in our enemy's masks. Okay, so that was... He's looking for chemical warfare is what he's doing. It's pretty screwed up, but it did happen. Okay, so the safe code's not gonna be in here. I don't think. I've looked everywhere. Um... Oh. There's a hole. Oh, so this is open now? Okay. So this was closed before in chapter one. Obviously this room was locked as well, but... Maybe there's something out here. I'm gonna keep looking around and hopefully eventually we'll find something that helps us with that. But it says, we leave the gardening to others. That's probably smart. I'm not a good gardener. Who painted this? It can't have been your brother. It's very hard to see, it's very dark. Okay. This. There used to be a statue on this fountain. Uh, I wonder if we're gonna have to get a statue to put back on it. Okay. Let's go this. Oh, what's this? Oh, there we go. Cool. Get some light. How many matches do we have? Does it say? No. Looks like we got plenty though, right? Mother always was always there for you when you were playing too close to the edge of the well. Now you've looked out for her too. Okay, let's get down through here. There's nothing else out there that I found. Okay, dead in there. What's this? Okay, under the light. Here we go. Letter success. Dear direct March third, nineteen fifteen. Dear Director General von Schmidt. The research and production of weapons has finally prov provided the long-awaited upturn in our company's fortunes. We have increased the number of chemists in our employ and set up additional production facilities. I imagine your father would be very proud of your current commercial success, especially as it comes in the service of victory for the fatherland. E. Grubert, Deputy Director, Carl von Schmidt & Co. Paint Factories, Berlin. Okay. It's a letter to our dad. This label says sulfuric acid. Let's take that. I have a feeling that we're going to have to make this. Eventually. Once we figure everything out. It's this salt. Yeah, let's take that. We're going to have to make this stuff eventually. But we've added the salt. Okay. Yeah, I'm not doing that yet. Oh, can I get... Yeah, I'm not doing that yet. I don't know the, the right combination. I didn't realize I was putting that stuff in there. So, all right, hydrochloric acid. To create hydrochloric acid, mix and heat cooking salt and sulfuric acid until it boils. Okay, so we just have to cook it till it boils. You hold redemption in your hands. The key to everything. Omega, between red and blue. The key to everything, Omega, between red and blue. That's probably where the diary was that we've already found. Because that was in one of those, that was like Alpha, Omega, all the different names. But it looks like the statue's face has been eaten away. Probably because it was testing, he was testing this stuff on the statue. That's a statue that was in the, probably in the... It's empty, it's empty, okay. So we have to boil it? There we go. You have made hydrochloric acid. The pungent smell is unbearable. Okay. Oh. Okay, so we've done that. Um. Okay, well that's gonna stay on, I guess. Cool. Added the hydrochloric acid. So we gotta figure out something to put in there. Um. The note on the blackboard says that mixing together will 
the Mwasser and hydrochloric acid and a three to one ratio will create something called tank eater. Okay, so yeah, that's probably going to be in the safe, but how do I get in the safe? I don't know where the code is for the safe. Okay, so the dad, our dad is the one that's making this stuff because, you know, he's he's paralyzed so he can't fight and be in the army. So the safe is my as our dad's safe. So it wouldn't be something that our grandpa put um, for the code, but I don't know what it would be. I assume it's a f four digits. Ashes to ashes, rest in peace, great general. What's his, what date did he die? 1848, 1908, maybe? Give it a shot, I guess. Okay, so if we do, do like one, I don't, this is so weird to use. Okay, one, nine, zero, eight. Oh, okay, well, cool. I thought one of the notes was gonna give it to us, but that's fine. Or it took us an extra 25 minutes to figure that one out, I guess. Can I please open this? Oh my gosh. Please, just, just, okay, whatever, it's fine. Nope, nope, I need to open it more. Come on. Dude, I can't get this open. This is annoying. There you go. Okay. Holy crap. What's this? Introduce the iron dissolving tank eater. Combine three parts of the enclosed chemical compound, which I have named Wilhelmswasser, with one part hydrochloric acid. A three to one ratio is essential. The combination will only produce tank eater acid if the proportions are exactly correct and the hydrochloric acid used is pure. This will change everything. Okay. So this is going to be the... Yeah. That good stuff. Alright, let's go back to the, labor the laboratory. Okay, so if we put this in here... Then... Use the levelers to fill the middle glass container. Once you think you have the correct ratio, pull the middle lever to mix the chemicals. Okay. So it's a three to one ratio. One, two, three. Oh, oops. Where's this? They say this acid can cause metals to disintegrate. It smells strange. You can almost taste it on your tongue. Okay. So we've got this stuff. What are we supposed to do with this? I don't even know why we're making it. Um, there's all the chain on the basement door. Where's the basement door at? Uh, okay, so I believe this is a basement door. I think that these give us clues, the feet print. Because these lead right to the basement door, so. Boy, we just made something horrible. Horrible. I'm gonna go into the basement. Let's go into the basement. Who's coming into the basement with me? This doesn't look like a fun place to be. Okay, so let's... Look around. There's light coming from behind that door. We'll just wait on that. There's some music coming from behind that one. Okay, I want to inspect this room first. Make sure we don't miss anything. Why do we have cells in our basement? What? Can I take this? Why can't I have a lantern? Ah. Okay, 
right, let's take a look in here if it'll let me. No, this one's locked. Okay, well, gonna go in here. Who was just saying the Lord's Prayer? It sounded French. Yeah. <laughs> 